Hello, I'm Joseph of Lewis Renovation, and today I will be installing a Stabil Eltron tankless electric water heater. Um, this is on my own house, uh, so I don't need to be a plumber or electrician to install this. I'm not a plumber or electrician, uh, so please don't take this as plumbing electric electrical advice. Um, if you need that kind of advice, please contact a licensed professional. But I feel comfortable doing the work based on previous experience. So I am installing this on my own property. Um, got this through Amazon only because they got it here in two days versus other websites for like eight to 10 days. Um, the box and the website has uh, this cool chart that shows where I'm located, which would be like the water temperature coming into the house in the winter time. And uh, based on having two showers, and a kitchen sink running, uh, then I would need the uh, size 20. I don't remember what the 20 means, but 20 somethings. Um, and the cool thing about it is it only takes two 40 amp circuits. So let's get started with the installation. So pretty much get the unit, instructions, and some sorry mounting hardware. Who the hell supplies flathead screws? I'm installing the water heater in this utility, little, this little utility room. Got the uh, cold water supply coming in. Um, it comes into the building right here. And then I've got the hot water that's gonna hook up to the water heater. And then I've got two 40 amp uh, cables here, go to the breaker box. Um, 8 gauge wire and they're going to also uh, supply electricity to the water heater. So I've got the two 40 amp cables going into these two 40 amp breakers, they're two, or double pole breakers, 40 amps. called a snap lock NM cable connector and this is a three-quarter inch size. It goes the knockout down there for the wire to go through. It's not really the right size wire stripper, but if you're uh, careful, you can make it work. Electric's pretty easy. Um, I, wish, I would like to take this panel off, but I wasn't sure how this connector works, so I didn't want to break it. Five connections. The manual doesn't say to connect both wi ground wires to this terminal. It just shows one. <clears throat> I guess they're expecting you to buy a, an 8-2 with ground and then an 8-2 without ground, but I, I don't know if you could ever find an 8-2 without ground, so I just connected both grounds up. Time to close this thing up and work on the uh, water part. I hope I never have to get back in there again. So the plan is to come out of the packs from the wall, go up to the nine degrees, then uh, convert from packs to the shutoff valve, and then um, put this nipple in, and then use this flex hose to go from the shutoff valve to the inlet. Instructions tell you that there's a a little mesh filter in here that needs to be cleaned out periodically. I don't, I haven't read yet how often, but what it does, it recommends that you put a shutoff valve in so you can shut the water off to the unit, and then you can use a wrench, disconnect this, and then, you know, move it over, clean out that inlet filter, and then hook this thing back up, and uh, you know, turn what could be an hour job into a five minute job. Here, now let's just put all this stuff together. There always seems to be some kind of confusion of when to use pipe sealant, like this Teflon tape, and when not to. 
And so what I was trained was, anytime you have a fitting that has a sealing surface like this rubber gasket, and the threads are only used to bring that, that surface together to make that, to make that rubber gasket fit tight, you do not use sealing tape. But when you have something like pipe thread, which is a tapered thread, and the actual threads is what's making the watertight seal, then you put the pipe sealant on to make, to make sure that the threads seal up. So again, if it's a compression fitting or a gasket fitting, no sealant. If it's a pipe thread, then you use sealant. I'm looking for bridge weld markings on the valve. Part of my old, old Navy training, I'm sure this valve does not have a bridge weld marking, but it's just habit. A vise is absolutely one of the most handy tools to have. An actual made in the USA crescent wrench. You tighten it until it cracks and then you back it off a quarter turn. Just kidding. It would have been a lot smarter to install this before I hung it. So lesson learned. Uh, maybe you can learn from my mistake. And again, I use sealing tape on this connector because this is a pipe thread type connector, whereas I did not use one on this connector because this one had a uh, rubber sealing surface in it. And I guess I do have to take this car off. Since you have to put a lot more torque on a pipe thread type connection, I want to make sure I'm back on the other side. I wonder if it's okay to use a Made in America Crescent wrench for the Harbor Freight wrench. Probably some, some, something illegal about it. Well, it looks to be installed. Um, I've got, I've succeeded in getting every tool I've got on, on the floor here pretty much. Um, so one thing left to do is uh, turn the water on. Hopefully it didn't leak. Hopefully I've got all the hot water roughs in um, plugged off so we don't have any kind of leaking water upstairs. And uh, turn the unit on. Unfortunately I don't have any kind of hot water load hooked up so I won't know if it's actually making hot water but at least I'll know if it turns on and it uh, starts, doesn't start spewing water. So it turned on, no leaks. Um, there's one leak upstairs, but uh, in the hot water line, but hey, that's not the water heater's fault. Um, all in all, it took me about two hours to install, and that's with, uh, along with doing some film work, so uh, it's pretty quick. The um, quality seems pretty good. The enclosure seems kind of rickety, um, you know, not, kind of the quality I would expect for something made in Germany, but hey, it's the enclosure, as long as the insides work, um, it doesn't really matter. The control is, is beautiful. It's just a turning dial that you raise or lower the temperature. Nothing complicated, no 100 different um, controls. So I really like the controller. And uh, hopefully it lasts a long time and makes lots of hot water. Thanks, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and hit that subscribe button. Have a great day.